Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart is now coming to PC. Sup everyone, this is Blue X here, and today we're going to be responding to one specific Sony Pony in particular who got triggered for the fact that Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart is coming to PC. So let's take a look at his one specific tweet in mind. Well, technically there's two, but we reach that bridge when we get there. I hope it's another broken port. Only PlayStation deserves this game, not PC. Oh, does it hurt because it's the truth? You are just a baby. Another coping and saving. Just because The Last of Us has a broken port on PC doesn't mean that game is gonna have a broken port. I hate to break it to you, but stop coping. One more thing! You would thought the video would just end there, right? But unfortunately, I just failed to comprehend just how delusional these PlayStation fanboys truly are when they use race to basically try to compare between the two. Let's take a look at another tweet. Sony is now handling us as black people in 1939 USA. We are now second class gamers and Sony don't care about us anymore. Just like black people had to sit at the back of the bus or had to buy in a bad grocery store. Us PlayStation gamers will have to buy the worst looking exclusives. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. This PlayStation fanboy is somehow comparing Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart is coming to PC as how black people are being discriminated back in the late 1930s. How old is this person again? Because I'm starting to think that he's been lifting the most softest of possible life and he should be mocked for it. Because it's not racist if that specific game in particular is coming to PC. Again, it's just business. At the end of the fucking day, Sony is a fucking company. They just want to make m as much money as possible. There are no race involved. But then again, this is a classic example of Oh, you poor baby. That game that you personally like is now available on PC. Boo hoo. You, you still have that game on your PS5, right? Get over yourself. You can still play it regardless. It just means Sony wants to make more money off of these games on PC. That's it. More people are going to be able to play that game now. I guess you just don't like to share. And anyone in the in the anyone who is watching this video right now, you can you can tell right now what I'm thinking. And here is um the plain example of it. <clears throat> Let me just show you the e examination. You I just don't like to share. I mean no like sharing, Adori. That is basically their fucking mindset. If you guess correctly, correct. You are completely red pilled. Because why? Why is it that every single time when someone is bitching and moaning about their favorite exclusive now available for other platforms, it's always, always Sony fanboys? Look, here's the example. Do you remember Cuphead used to be a Xbox exclusive, but nowadays every console and PC now has Cuphead? Do you ever hear Xbox coping and saving? And what about the Yu-Gi-Oh game known as Yu-Gi-Oh Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution? It used to be a Nintendo Switch exclusive title, but nowadays every console, including PC, now has that game. Does Nintendo drones bitching and moaning about it? You don't hear them talk about it because nobody fucking cares. If it's available for other platforms, that just means that other companies will make more money that way. That's it. More and more people will be able to play that game now outside of their specific consoles. Cry me a fucking river. Like, bro, get over yourself. I believe that will be enough for today.
if you enjoyed this video, if you do, give a like, subscribe if you're new to my channel, follow me on social media, and hit the notification bells for my future videos. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded anything since the past few days, but now I'm back, and uh, I'm going to make more content for you guys. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to go premiere my Let's Play of Classic Shantae. Alright, that'll be all. Take care.